my friends from Timeshare OPC University. Today we're going to talk about what is an OPC. Back in the day when I started, OPC was called an outside people contact. And nowadays the companies have changed their names. They call them BC, vacation coordinator, marketing representative, and they call them many different ways to try to change the impression or the attitude that we had. Okay. So to me, an OPC, whatever the, the way they call it, it's a go-getter. It's a person that no matter what, whether it's raining, whether, whether it's sunny, outside, on the streets, on the snow, anywhere, there will be hassling and approaching people to, to go to that sales presentation. I compare OPCs. I don't know if many of you have been in Latin America, but I'm sure a lot of you have seen it in the movies. There's a lot of little kids out there on the street trying to clean your windshield wiper and they're always trying to clean it and the people say no and they hear no a million times. I compare OPCs like that. Normally, you have to approach 20 people so one people can hear you. And out of 10 people that listen to you, you're gonna book one, so you do the math. And out of that 10 people that you talk, you're gonna book one. So you really have to talk and talk and talk to a lot of people. You really have to hassle. You have to have a great attitude. To me, an OPC is the greatest salesperson in the world. There is no one that you can compare that is a stronger sales representative than the OPCs. Now, I work in sales. And whenever you're in the sales room, the sales representative will always blame the OPC and they will say, oh, that OPC is making the commission. That OPC told them to lie. The OPC told them that it's only 90 minutes. The OPC told them this and that. They don't know how difficult it is to book a couple. However, the OPCs are always blaming the sales representatives and they say, well, if I was able to book them, why couldn't they sell them? If the people bought for me, why they couldn't buy from them? Why do they keep them more than 90 minutes? Why do they high pressure them? I'm not able to book them next time. In a way, both of you are right. Okay, but one of the things that we have to understand is that the only reason why every single one of us exists is for one purpose, and that's selling timeshare. And sometimes we as OPCs don't even have an idea what the business is all about. You hear horrible stories, <coughs> excuse me, from people coming and telling you that they kept them for hours, that they wouldn't give them their gift, that they high pressure them. But what happens when they buy? When they buy, they come and say, hi, thank you, and they love it. And then they come the next year and they bring you a gift because whenever they buy, you're gonna give them something that is gonna be a benefit for all their families. They're gonna go and travel all over the world and they're gonna fix the cost of their vacations and they're gonna guarantee that they're gonna go into a high quality. So it's very important that we OPCs understand that we have a, a major role on the sales process. If you tell them to lie, if you tell them just say that you're single, if you tell them just play the game, if you tell them to do something for little things, one of those little white lies, that is gonna keep in the back of the people's head. And no matter how beautiful the project is, no matter how good the product they're selling is, they're always gonna think that. So in order for you to be effective in your job, first, you have to believe in your product. If you guys don't know what timeshare is all about, if you don't know what you're selling, if you don't know what condos you're selling, please ask your supervisor, ask your manager, take me to the property, show me what we sell, and be proud of what you sell. You are the most important person in the sell, sales process. Back in the day when I started, they just told me, just send the people over and the sales representatives are going to make sure they do the job right. We're talking about 20 something years ago when people were not aware, when there was not much internet. Nowadays, everybody just got, gets into the tablet, gets into their phones, and they're gonna find out what's going on. But we are offering an amazing product that is gonna change their life for good. So be proud of what you do. You don't have to lie. You don't have to misrepresent. And I can guarantee you, I know many people that have done this and they do it properly. They raise their families, they have their cars, they go on vacations, you know, they go, I, mean, I can tell you names of 50 different people that I know that they raise their family by being an OPC. I have done it for many years, I love it. And 
the sky is the limit in this position. So send me, send me what do you think about it, OPCs. Send me what do you think needs to be changed. Send me if you have an idea of if we need to implement a new process. Let me know where do you work. If you do in house, if you do outside, if you do beach or there's some some coworkers that do scratch cards, which they're amazing. There's a lot of different things that we need to learn. Send them over and let's share the knowledge together and learn more. Thank you.